Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is Evaporation and Sublimation in Molecular Physics. So in molecular physics, if you have a collection or ensemble of molecules, like O2, for example, or any other diatomic uh, gas, you have many molecules here, and the collection of all these particles can exhibit different phases or states of matter. So with H2O, for example, if we consider water, which has one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms, water is known to be able to exhibit three distinct phases of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. And evaporation is the physical process that is associated with the phase transition from a liquid phase to a gas phase. And this holds true for any collection of molecules or any sort of substance that can exhibit these two different phases of matter. So that's what evaporation is. And it occurs when you boil water, for example, when you cook. Sublimation, however, you end up at a gas, but instead of starting at the liquid phase, you start at the solid phase. So sublimation is going from solid to gas. And water doesn't do this because it passes through uh, under standard temperature and pressure, meaning under one atmosphere of pressure and at room temperature you have a liquid and it goes to a gas. In order for something to sublimate, it has to start off as a solid and go to a gas. An example of this would be dry ice. So dry ice is nothing more than the solid form of carbon dioxide or CO2. If you put solid carbon dioxide at room temperature at a pressure of one atmosphere, it will sublimate, it will convert from a solid to a gas, and it will bypass this phase of matter altogether. And whether a type of molecule exhibits evaporation or sublimation depends on that molecule and its structure, as well as the environmental conditions such as the temperature and the pressure. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is Evaporation and Sublimation in Molecular Physics.